Writing test cases using the tool for the login page, a demo application that I have created to explain the fields step by step. In this video, I will show you how to write test cases for the login page inside the Jira tool. I am using Jira software by Atlassian. You see inside this tool, we can create our projects and I have installed Zephyr Scale which is a test management tool. Inside Jira, I created a project using a Scrum template and named it Project 2 as an example. From project types, I will select a team management project from below and then going to the next page. Inside this tool, I'm using the Zephyr scale in order to manage my test cases because this tool is specifically for managing test cases and many companies also prefer to use this tool. You may Google more about the features because in order to use this tool, we have to sign up for Jira and then install Zephyr scale. I am going to create a new folder and inside the folder, I will keep the test cases separately relevant to each page that means each folder i will name the folders for example home page then the sign up page and then the login page and as i go to testing these pages i will document all the test cases in the related folders you may name the folders as you like for example you may also name the folders related to the type of test cases like one folder for the valid test cases and one folder for the invalid test cases like that and so on. You may easily drag up and drag down to rearrange your folders. This is a prototype template, a demo application that I have created to demonstrate the login page fields in order to show you how to write test cases step by step for the fields. As you see, there are only two fields to test, the email field and the password field and then click on the login button also we need to verify navigating through the login page to the sign up page so let's quickly dive into the tool and create test cases for the login page functionality let's assume you as a real-time user wanted to log into the page which you have already signed up for and now you just need to enter your email and your password to log in so you will simply enter your valid email and valid password into the fields and click the login button. So what is the expected result? You should be able to log in, right? And the expected result would be that you will be redirected to the home page of the application or the page where you are supposed to be. Now let's start writing the test cases. Click add a new test case and enter the title of the test case. So now we are inside the project and we will write the test case as verify login with a valid email and password. This should be the title of the test case or you may call it as a scenario because the title itself is self-explanatory. It's clear and you know what to do. As soon as you read the title, you know what you are supposed to do. Under this title, we will write our test steps which will be the test case. I prefer to list out the test titles first and then start writing the test steps. I do this because I feel this way to list out everything makes it easy to understand what I need to cover in order to complete my testing for every single thing without missing out on anything. I will show how to write test steps for each title as we proceed further. Here you see the objective. You may write it if you want, but this is optional. So I'm leaving this for now. Next comes the precondition that is previously executed tests done before this test. These I have already explained before in my other videos. You may go and watch to understand better. Links are in the description. So I'm writing the precondition as already registered and the login page is open because in order to log in, we have to be the registered user, right? In other words, the registration is done and now the login page is opened. Once I'm done with the first test case, I'm now creating the second test case. 
The name of the next test case is to verify login with an empty email field and then save it. The precondition would be the same as before that is already registered and the login page is open. Then move on to the next test case. Also, it should save the test case into the same login page folder automatically. If not, then go down below and choose the type of folder. Once you have saved the test cases, simply go to the top and check here on test cases. You will see that these test cases are here and saved into the login folder. The next test case is to verify login with an empty password field. Write verify login with an empty password field and then save. Precondition would be the same that is already registered and the login page is opened. Next, verify login with an invalid email that is to test by entering the wrong email format. As we know that emails have a format, they should be in a format. For example, seema at the rate gmail.com or seema123 at the rate yahoo.com. So in this case, if someone types in the wrong format, for example, just seema123 or seema underscore gmail.com or anything like 1234 in place of a correct format, then the field should not accept that and hence login should be failed. And this should be the expected result because this is what is going to happen and it is supposed to be like that. Next, verify login with an invalid password that is test the field by entering the wrong password. Here, the wrong password means that this is not the correct password for this user or in other words, the password used is different than the password that was being created. So I'm going to write it verify login with invalid password. The next test is to navigate from the login page to the sign up page. As you see in the prototype template, there is an option to create an account if you have not signed up so far. This is important to test and you need to document this test case. In a real test case scenario, the tester needs to navigate back from the sign up page to the login page as well. So I'm going to quickly document this test case as verify navigation from login to the sign up page. Verify testing login in landscape mode. The precondition is the same that is already registered and the login page is opened. This test is done because this is mobile testing and mobile applications mostly has the rotatory functionality. That's why this test should be done. These are a few sample test cases that I think are important to test, but these are not the only test cases I must say. There are no limits to testing and you must test the application in every possible ways as you can depending on the time and the type of the project. Now here if you check you see all the test cases that I have created are saved and are in the right folder that is login page folder. A total of seven test cases are there and are important to test. In this prototype demo template, I have created to show you the very basic fields of the login page. In my next video, I will show how to add steps to each of these test cases. To keep my videos short, I am stopping here now. Make sure to get notified by my new uploads by subscribing my channel. Like, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon to get notified of my new uploads. Thank you for watching.